Watch August when we get closer. He'll roll over and like, I want my belly petted. I want my belly petted. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. Mama Cornstar is going to take me for a long journey to go get a tractor and bring it back, which is only just up over the hill in the field, but I didn't want to make her walk out to get it. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> I'll ask Mama Cornstar why she left the door open when I'm going to get the tractor. We'll see what she says. How's my hair look? I was just curious. Why'd you leave the passenger door open? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you shut it. I'm taking the tractor. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Now I got to walk all the way to the other side of the pickup just to close the door because somebody wasn't thinking. Thank you, Mama Cornstar. Like I've said before, guys, it's hard to find a good wife. Oh, let's see if we can get this tractor home now. All right, we're bailing. We got the John Deere baler hooked up. We got the New Holland dropped. I was using mine a little bit at the beginning of the year because uh, I didn't have the John Deere baler quite yet. Um, so far, the John Deere baler I really like. I was a little nervous about the monitor at first when I got it because it looked kind of confusing. Hold on here. I gotta turn around. But overall, monitor's really easy. I'll kind of go over here when we're parked. We got the baler back here. It's got the mega wide pickup. I think this is a 560M. So far, I'd say it does just as good of a job as my new Holland. I think my new Holland covers the edge a little better. I am running 67 inch cover edge on this. And I also could also have, ah, I could also have something not set up right. But I feel like my new Holland baler is a little cleaner on the edges. But maybe I'm biased because I bought that banner last year and, you know, it's mine. Maybe I'm just biased. We're in my alfalfa patches right now, so we're able to kick out some rocks. Look at that thing. Mmm, tight. Oh, I need to watch what I'm building here. The two bars are uh, how you build your bale. This one's probably going to come out a little lopsided because I wasn't paying attention to that. But you want to keep those bars equal. And once that beeper, so you got a beeper that goes off at like 63, kind of tells you like, hey, pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure you've got your bales kind of equal, your two sides equal. And then at six, I uh, have it set at 68 to tell me to stop. And uh, time I get stopped, it's usually at like 69, 70. So kind of gives you a 69 to 70 inches. Sorry, so that's the size of the bale. It's in inches. Um, that's kind of like. The balers go up to 72 inches, which is six foot, but you don't want to push them that far. You stretch belts and whatnot, a little harder on the baler. So, we have it set to 70. Oh, our engine temp's high. There's a screen under the hood here. It blocks all the fine stuff I'm getting in the radiator. Ugh. Let me get this open. Pop this cover off right here. This screen right here. It's just packed full of stuff. Then the radiator can't breathe. Guarantee you that's probably why it wasn't breathing. But if we hop back up in there, she's gonna be cooling down quite quickly. Yep. She's already dropping bars. Look at that. We're down one bar already. Looks like we're gonna need that. We gotta get loaded up and uh, gonna go over and fill the trailer with, well, you just tag along with me and we'll talk about it as we go. Go. See if we can get the water tanks full. We're trying to get things ready for our spring beans. Alright, I'm gonna try and make a video here of dumping a bale. The kicker kicks it back. He rolls. We got coal in the skid loader there, loading up some chemicals, putting them on the trailer here so we can get them hooked up to the mix, mate. I see a little mouse running around the wheel down there. Look at him go. Weehaw! Cole's trying to get some chemical switched around. We're just double checking everything. This is where you gotta be really careful. We don't accidentally want to put corn killer on our bean stuff, so we're just double checking labels, rereading our notes. This is not the time to rush around and mess something up because it could be horrible. You know, I almost caught that fence in the baler. I almost caught it in the rake and I almost caught it in the mower. Well, I did catch it in the mower, but it didn't hurt anything. That was good. 
that was good. We're at Mary Lou's now. Just to this drawway here. Got to go on the other side of the road, do that drawway. Then we'll hop back on this side, go through the cornfield, drive down that drawway. Then it'll come up into here, and then right, right in here, do that. And then I think we have five, five of my fields left. And then my first cutting will be done. But then my neighbor called and said he has 90 acres of alfalfa or grass or whatever it is to be uh, <clears throat> bailed. And so he wants me to come over and help yeah, him. Right there is the 90 acres of alfalfa. I am super excited for that. I don't know why, but since I've been a kid, I love bailing. I absolutely love it. It's probably my most, well, it is my most favorite job on the farm, without a doubt. Without a doubt. All right, to hop into this drawway down here. We've got to go along the edge of the corn here. We're gonna take our tires and we're gonna straddle the corn. Look at that, we fit perfectly. Row crop, come on. And then uh, we just let the baler run over all the corn, so yeah. Tractor's good, baler's not. Come on back. We are making some hay. We just got done here. Now we have four drawways left. And I am done with my first cutting. Four drawways. I don't even know how many we started with. I'm anxious to see how many bales I made. My bale counter's right there, but I'm not doing it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I want to know. I want it to be a surprise, golly, for bale on the highway. I want it to be a surprise when I hit that button and I'm like, whoo! That's a lot of bales. Just pulled into the cemetery. The guy that marked it for me said he put a flag out here, so we'll see if we can find it. We're gonna be right there. Just seems like we're hitting something hard. There is something hard there. We're gonna have to go over a little bit, I guess. Something hard in the corner. I don't know if it's a big rock, but it's solid. All right, I think we are actually done for today. I think we're done with all my stuff. 65 inches, we're two inches away from a full bale, so we're just gonna press this wrap button, which wraps it manually. Just press that. It's gonna throw some wraps on for us. Boom, boom, boom. All right, she's done. Hit our hydraulics, open her up. Dumps her, push her back down. She's down, shut the, three point, the PTO off. I'm gonna hop out here and look at that bale, see how much smaller it actually is. I mean, two inches shouldn't be that noticeable. Yeah, you can hardly tell. You can hardly tell. Here's the 70 inch. 68 inch bale on me. It's a little shorter, but it'll do. It's a full bale. So let's go uh, see how many bales we, we made today. All right, I have not looked at the monitor. I'm going with 95. I think I'm gonna be just short of 100. 90, oh, four bales from 100. Really? Should go re-rake all my stuff and see if I can get four more. That's disappointing. Normally, the last few years, Cole has been running the sprayer. He had to run off and do some other stuff on some business. So he looked at me and says, Dad, Cooper's out making hay right now and he's gotta keep that baler going. Guess what you get to do today? So I'm running the sprayer. Uh, One thing with the monitors, I gotta be honest, before we started getting the Ag Leader stuff, I didn't think we really needed it. We can do it with our own eyes, our own fingers. Now that I got it, I don't know how we did it without it, to be honest. There's no way I could run around out here spraying and know what I did. Yeah, I can have it in my memory, but uh, eh. thing about spraying your own crops, you get to actually see what's going on out here in the field. Sometimes you may not like it, but you need to know what is going on. We got our first load here. I'm going to pull this pin. See our load. Shoo doggy. I'm going to dump them here and I'm hoping that doesn't hit the bin. We're about to find out. 
Eight done. 88 left. Cole's gonna switch with me quick. He's gonna run, I'm gonna run home and eat. I'm getting hungry. When I get hungry, I get kind of grouchy. <laughs> That's a no lie. Oh, I'm kind of like Cookie Monster. I gotta have food in my tummy. Dad just got grandpa's done, so now we are at Orleans. Search your engines! Cole's running the sprayer now. He just switched fields. I needed to run up, fill up with water, switch some chemicals around. Cooper called, he's off baling hay, and he needs a couple, I think one hay field raked. So I'm gonna run this water wagon semi down to a different field, and then I'm gonna jump on a tractor with a rake, run out and rake the hay so Cooper can keep his baler going. Sounds like he's gonna be running probably till dark tonight. And then after we get that done, I guess we have me a grave yet to cover. So we better keep moving and get all this done. We're done kicking out rocks here. I think we got, uh, there's some on that side of the creek, some on this side, and then there's some on the other side. So yeah, it should've been 17. Look at that, we got 27 total so far, and I think I have one drawway left. So he said 30 bales. I don't know how big this next drawway is, but hopefully it's fairly good size. Look at them. Look at all those rocks. Isn't that just so pretty? Like seeing all these bales out here. Like, I just think that is so gorgeous. It's so good. It's so good. Especially how round they are. Look at that. There's not even an imperfection in that bale. I mean, what is wrong? What is wrong with that bale? Well, it could be better. It could be better. I'm not saying that's my best one, but that's a good looking bale. All right, we're at our final destination for this customer. Just going around and doing the outside pass now. Woo! Oh. Got a little bit here. I'm gonna guess probably four or five bales. What's your guess? I want five. Five. Okay, now you gotta do a different number. Six. Okay, we're gonna jump on the case. I'd rather, oh, that John Deere tractor that Cooper's running around. That thing is like a dream. It floats. I'm gonna jump in the case here and go bouncing down the road. Coop, you got a pretty good amount of hay there. Two, four, six, we've got eight bales on there. Well, let's go get that hay rake so we can keep Cooper a moving. There it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh one is on me. It's not quite a full one, but it is, and it's 52 incher. We charge the same, well, charge the same, or a full bale or a partial just because you're still using the same amount of net wrap and that's like your biggest input and a bale is the net wrap so yeah i know you're not getting a full so it's, it seems a little unfair but at the same time you're using the same amount of net wrap so it doesn't really make that much of a difference so we're gonna wrap this thing up we'll do it manually i'll show you how this thing's set to be automatic so once it hits 68 inches it automatically wraps it like going to do it manually you literally just press wrap Starts wrapping it. it. Takes a couple seconds here. Beep at you that it's done. Get your hydraulic. Dump it. See ya. Then you shut her. That's it. And I'm wrapped down here. You can see where we've been. Natalie just woke up from a little nap. Wakey wakey. is done. So we got dad's, then we got the bush farm back there, we got the Hanson farm over there, and then west of dad's right here. I think this is what they call bailing. This is nuts. Every down and back, well down is three, back is three. And it seems like right you get going, you're kicking another one out. I've done from like right here down so far. He's done the rest, Dave. I'm working with one of my roommate's dads, uh, Garrett's dad, Dave. Um, and he called me and said, hey, you wanna come help me? And I said, sure. 
so this is an opportunity of a lifetime right here. I don't know why this is so exciting to me, but it is. So we got the monitor here. Uh, we got our bail builders. Once it hits 64, it's gonna beep at us, gonna let us know. There it goes. And then at 68, it'll kick off, say stop. Time to get stopped. It's right at about 70, or at 70. So, so far it's working really good. So I'm gonna keep going back and forth here. I'm hoping to get some videos of both of us rolling here. He's over on the other side of the hill. So when I go over there, probably get some footage. This is just really cool. Look at all them bales. All right, all right. We got two bailers going side by side. We're moving, we're bailing. Look at the day over there, we've got his shirt off, getting tan. What, what? I better pay attention here. Look at all those bales. Shoot, doggy. Things were going good, and then we ran out of net wrap. Need to drop coal off some chemicals, then we gotta run back home and get some uh, bailing wrap for Cooper. He's about 10 miles away and he just realized he's about out. I've been the runaround man today. And you know what? That's an important job too because I'm doing it. <laughs> hey, no. This is it, or he has another field. I'm not entirely sure. I uh, I know we've made really good headway, though. That is for sure. I'm trying to squeeze all this into. I think we got her. Perfect. We got a full bale. I'm gonna leave in with a. Be dumping the full bale for him. It couldn't have worked out any better. Here we go. Do it again. Do it again. Dump it. Sheesh. Sorry, it's trying to focus on my beautiful face and not the sunset. What's new? Hanson Farm, west of Dad's. This is around Dad's house. So we have 19 out of about 80 acres done. About a 530 acre day. That's the most spraying I've probably ever got done in a single day before. Well, Dad helped me too. You gotta give Dad credit for this morning. Now we're gonna fill the sprayer up with diesel, get everything all service ready. We're gonna fill the sprayer tank tonight with water. So in the morning, we can just get a good jump on, everything's ready to go, and you go out in the field. Hopefully, we can get us brand beans. bales and probably uh, I don't know what time I got there probably two hours maybe ish I had to wait like 10 minutes for uh, net wrap because I ran out of net wrap stupid me forgot to bring an extra roll but that was awesome thank you Dave for letting me come over and help you with that I've never been able to actually run in something bigger that's like five well I've been in like 20 acres but it was kind of crappy hay wasn't that great at running that was fun running two balers felt like you were getting something done. I think I was, I timed it when we were in the thicker area, I was pushing out uh, a bale every minute. So if you can do the math, that'd be, if you could stay in that thick stuff, that'd be a bale every minute. Um, that was from when I took off to when I stopped. That wasn't from taking off, dumping, and going. So I mean, it's a little longer than that, but you get it, you get it. So heading home now, I think it's like nine o'clock. Me and Dave talked for a little bit. I'm gonna head home. Uh, get the tractor probably ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna go bail for our neighbor uh, Lane. Their bailer broke down, so I'm gonna go bail him out. That's at least what it sounds like. I gotta call him and talk to him and make sure that's the plan. Um, and then I gotta I rake some alfalfa for a neighbor today, but it was still too wet. So I'll flip it in the morning again, just roll it over, and then bail it tomorrow. So that's the plan. Uh, I think tomorrow night, which will be Tuesday, it's supposed to rain. So, just trying to get things 
all wrapped up before this rain comes. So that's the plan anyways. There's approximately 2,000 gallons on the semi-trailer yet, and I got about 3,000 gallons in that tank. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pump everything in, fill this nice and full, 5,000 gallons. And then we're gonna leave the garden hose running out of the well all night into this big tank. We run about five, 600 gallons an hour out of the well. So when we get up in the morning, that should be full, and that should be all the water we need to finish spraying soybeans. See the water line right there. We're gonna let this fill up overnight. This will be full when we come out in the morning. This is basically full. We'll top them off just a little bit. Probably need a couple hundred gallons in each yet just to get right to the top. I think it's 11, yeah, it's 11 p.m. So we'll probably try to hit it as soon as the sun comes up. 